Dude. I taught him everything he knows about fashion. <laughs> The hair and makeup look was really all about this feeling of the 20s. It's a very strong finger wave and a very defined brow. It started with Erte, illustrations of Erte. Now, how do you take Erte, 1920s? So I took Erte's forms, the Art Deco lines. So the clothes are shaped in that form, and even the embroideries run in the same form. So it kind of molds to the body. But then I looked at the Byzantine and the, uh, the Ottoman Empire for the details of embroideries. So how could I take embroideries from that era, make them modern? So the combination of two is what this collection is all about. Gold thread. During the time of the Ottoman Empire, the embellishing with the gold thread was super important. What you gave as a coat, instead of giving somebody a village, you would give him a coat made out of gold thread that would be more important than he acquiring a village. You know, you look at things like that and you say, okay, how do I take this gold thread and make it modern? So we've taken patterns, but it took many, many, many hours, all done by hand. But also, embroideries from Art Deco, from Erte. So it's like Josephine Baker, you look at people like that, and when you mold crystals in the shape of your body, when you turn, it enhances your body. I mean, all that was a big part of creating this collection. Your different types of customers. Some customers cannot wear too much glamour, so you have dresses which are in beautiful form, just fabric, but with little amount of embroideries. And then you have separates, so that if you don't want to buy a whole dress, you can buy a blouse from me and still glam it up by wearing it with amazing pants or an amazing skirt or something like that. I'm a fan of Naeem, yeah. He dressed me for the Golden Globes and the SAG Awards. I like that everything has a very classic feel. But it's also cool. At the same time, I like that there's a wide range. The, the dresses, the two dresses that I wore to those events were very different, but I felt confident in both. It is amazingly important because the world watches those kind of events. And your brand being recognized is, is very important because you know people recognize your brand, people go shopping based on the names they hear and the people they wear. And wouldn't you want to look like a movie star? Oh my God, I mean, these have taken hours and hours to make. The finale gowns, some of the sequins sewn. I had these sequins punched out for me with the hole bigger than usually it comes in the sequin. And we placed a diamond in that hole, so there is a dimension to it. So when you move, the diamond in the center of the sequin creates a 3D effect on the dresses. And also the color of the stuff, so using a pearly luster sequin. So, you know, when it molds the body, you get this very luster shine. And then all these diamonds that we've used in an Art Deco Erte kind of drawing, that's also amazing in the finale. Today's market, you have so many designers who are competing for the same spot, right? But thank God that we have a specialty. When you come to me, what I make is very different. So I'm not saying it's hard to compete with me, but I'm sure many designers do that. But I do mine. I've been doing it for so many years. I think I've got it down to a science. <laughs>